it was the most overpriced, expensive, insanely overstuffed thrift store I have been to in a long time. But I did still find a couple of good things and I'd like to share them with you. Hi everybody, welcome to Rockabilly Raven Vintage. My name is Randy and I want to welcome you to our channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Been around for a while, welcome back. Today we have a haul video. I went to a Salvation Army out near the Ohio Pennsylvania border and it was the most overpriced expensive, insanely overstuffed thrift store I have been to in a long time. But I did still find a couple of good things and I'd like to share them with you. So at the Salvation Army, we got a bag of clothes and one coat. This is not going to be the biggest haul that we've ever had here on Rockabilly Raven Vintage, but we did still find some really good things. So let's check them out. So at the Salvation Army, the tags were like different, different tags, different days were half off, 25% off. I mean, it was like a math problem. It was crazy. But the one thing that was very clear was that if you found blue tags, they were $1. Didn't matter what it was. If you found a blue tag, whatever it was, was a dollar. So I was on the hunt for some blue tags, let me tell you. And let me show you why. So first off, I got this crazy 1970s padded coat. The coat is pretty cool, but what I really, really liked was this fantastic real fur collar. So then I think I stuck the price tag in the pocket I did because it came off. Are you ready for the original price on this? At a thrift store at a Salvation Army. Can you see that? $26 for this coat. which. Don't get me wrong, it's vintage, it's really cool. Um, somebody, it's somebody's aesthetic, like don't get me wrong. But 26 bucks, check out our tag. Good tag, um, I think it even has, it does, has a union made tag. And I mean, it's a really, it's a really decent coat, it's in decent shape. But at whatever consignment store donated it, they only had seven bucks on it. Salvation Army put $26 on it. But what color was a dollar? Blue tags were a dollar. So I got that coat for a dollar and that was a much better price. All right, so next in our bag of goodies, we will go through dresses. I got four dresses. I think in total I ended up maybe spending like $24, $25 at this Salvation Army. But I mean, it was really stressful trying to figure out what the tags were and like do math and do all these different things. It was just insane. But regardless, found some fun things. The next fun thing that we found was this. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's it's crazy. Look at this print. Isn't it amazing? It goes all the way down here. It's awesome. So this is just a 1970s polyester house dress that you can style up and just make it fantastic. Um, the tag on it is Anthony Richards. Um, it actually has a name written on it, so I'm not going to show it, um, which means it probably was somebody's estate that got donated. So, but check out what the original price was at the Salvation Army. 
nine bucks. But it was blue tag, so we got it for a dollar. And it's, I mean, this is one of those staple pieces that you, anyone who loves vintage, you can take something fun with this awesome print, throw a big belt on it, throw some cowboy boots on with it, and it's just going to look fantastic. And the other great part about it is it's a plus size. So I was really excited to pick that one up. The next dress that I picked up is a little bit of an experiment. So whether we like it or not, the 1990s are vintage now and they are coming back in a big way. Um, I was a kid in the 90s, so I guess that makes me old. Uh, but I found this really simple black turtleneck minimalist dress. I mean, it's just a long black beautiful jersey dress that I mean you could just style it any way you want to it's got a zipper down the back um, it's a very 90s brand um, it's just a Talbot's uh, I mean shoulder pad heavy shoulder padded uh, dress and Again, it's a little bit of an experiment because people's tastes don't have to match my own. Um, and so I thought I would put it up in the store and see see if people are digging that 1990s, very clean, minimalistic style. Because it seems like a lot of people are. It was $8 originally. But of course, because it's a blue tag I got it for a dollar the next little piece that I got is just a really simple tunic my daughter is hiding behind the camera and she's like waiting to pass but I think she could get by and we wouldn't see her let's see go what? oh yeah can you see her can you see her oh 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 ah, no we couldn't see you good job <laughs> the life of a youtuber in a house with a family so the next piece that I found was this really beautiful rayon tunic it's just a real simple 70s tunic with a fun uh, you know sort of batiked flower print on it um, real simple little sleeves it's homemade um, I don't have a lot of tags to show you guys today, but again, this was another, I couldn't believe the price on it at the store, eight bucks, but blue tags, I got it for a dollar. So, um, really great. Just a, you know, a simple summer piece or a lounge around the house piece that someone's going to really enjoy. It's a little bit smaller in the hip. So, um, Everything that I picked up here at this particular haul is for the store, so that's why there's no try-on video today. Lastly in dresses is probably the absolute like piece de resistance that I have picked up at a thrift store lately, and unfortunately I had to pay for it, but um, it wasn't terrible. I don't, I shouldn't make it sound like it was like the most expensive thing I've bought at a thrift store in a long time. So I found an authentic 1950s shirtwaist dress. Isn't it fantastic? So this is a beautiful green. Check out these buttons. Aren't they beautiful? Um, it has a really great sawtooth design up around the collar um it did not have its matching belt this would have come with a matching belt it's got a tiny waist uh but it's in absolutely perfect condition there is nothing wrong with it so this one was a yellow tag and it had no discounts oops sorry it was eight dollars and so i'm going to remove the price tag so I can show you the actual vintage tag underneath it. So there's our yellow tag taken off. 
So check out that vintage tag. Isn't it fantastic? Really great. Um, I love that this is considered a plus size. This is a size 12 plus size. I know, right? Um, I am a size 10, 12 modern size 10, 12, got a 34 inch waist and, uh, this is not it. This is not plus size nowadays, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's no stains, there's no damage. Now that I've got the tag taken off, you can see this really fun little collar. It was absolutely fantastic. And for $8, I, I mean, I have to clean it and mend any seams that need mending. And then I'm going to put it in my store and I'm going to put it in my store for more than $8. So if this had been my size, it would have been the find of the century for eight bucks. Uh, but I found it for somebody else and I can't wait to put it in the store. Next, we're moving on to blouses. So these blouses, let's see, I got one, two, three, four blouses and one men's shirt. Um, these blouses were, you know, all different sizes. Oh my gosh, the buttons. It, it is a fish. I am back. I am back. Why? Because I have forgotten to button the buttons. Bear with me, friends. This short intermission of buttoning the buttons. Oh my gosh, I can't. My fingernails are too long. I can't even button the buttons right now. So we're just going to button three. We're not even going to button them all. All right, found this. Awesome. 1970s. Judy Bond. Kind of Victorian style blouse. It's really popular right now. It's got this sort of poof sleeves. It's got these little button cuffs. Um, kind of a different interesting color. Uh, it's a larger size. Uh, vintage size 16. So it's a modern size. Maybe about a modern size uh, 12. But uh, at the thrift store they wanted six dollars for a blouse understand where i am at we don't normally pay more than like three bucks maybe three bucks for a blouse but this one was a blue tag so i got it for a dollar next oh this one is a really good one too and the buttons are not buttoned no I'm not doing it. We're just bypassing it. This, look at this shirt. Oh my gosh. So this beautiful purple blouse is a fantastic Victorian style shirt. Can you see? You see these ruffles and this leg of mutton sleeve? Ugh, really great. Here is the tag on that. This makes my goth girl heart very happy. So it has an attached little black string so you can um, put a little uh, tie, uh, bolo style tie there at the front. And it is very small, but it is gonna make somebody very happy. It was $5. Again, I don't normally pay those kind of prices, but it is a particularly fantastic blouse. Again, leg of mutton sleeve, Victorian style. Um, definitely a great color, so I was willing to pay $5 for that. It was a really great one. Next in blouses, if you have been here on the channel with me for any length of time, you know that I pick up and sell blouses like crazy. Specifically blouses that are sort of Edwardian, Victorian, prairie inspired. Um, I love them and so do other people and luckily I'm able to find them for people. Found this awesome 1990s sort of Victorian inspired blouse it has beautiful cut work collars it's really beautiful and lovely 
it's just a Karen Scott it is a size 14 and hang on I gotta say goodbye to my daughter she's going for a walk bye I hope you have a good walk I will I like your shirt. I do too. It's a little long, but it's okay. Isn't it going to be too warm for that? It's muggy out. You're 19. You can do whatever you want. Well, actually, no, you can't, but have fun. I mean, I can, but there's repercussions. There are repercussions. That's a smart young lady. So this fantastic blouse would have been, I can't even believe it, $6, but it was a blue tag, so I got it for a buck. So... This is just gonna style up beautifully and be a great piece to add to the store. I love the embroidery down the front. It's really nice with all of these. Um, I've said it in other videos and I'm gonna say it again. If you are a reseller, this is, this is bread and butter right here, friends. And last in women's blouses is another white prairie inspired vintage inspired or vintage sorry victorian inspired blouse it's from the 80s and this one is a an actual plus size blouse like it is a really good size blouse it's got wonderful big puffed sleeves it's got shoulder pads to make those sleeves even puffier um and I think this one was maybe 25% off because it was pink. So they had $6 on it and so I probably paid $4 for it. So really fantastic piece. Um, it's got some good sort of design on the cotton polyester fabric. Really, really beautiful piece. And the last piece from this little haul is a glorious men's uh, Havana shirt, I guess. Uh, I don't do a lot with men's clothing. I tend to pick up vintage clothing for my son and my husband. Um, I have a few uh, guy friends that are like brothers that I love to find stuff for them too, uh, or their significant others. And this particular shirt I picked up to see if my husband or my son would like it and if they don't that's okay I can sell it really great 60s men's tag it's got of course these awesome very um, not uh, I guess identifiable very uh, traditional pockets on it and it's in great shape and I was really happy to pick that up. This one was, again, oh my gosh, $6. And, but I got it for 20, I think 25 or 20% off. I think I paid $4 for it. So all in all, whew, it was a good haul. Um, I hope that this video has blessed you in some way. I know that your presence here has blessed me. I hope that you guys are all doing well. And as always, if you have any suggestions, comments, or thoughts, put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.